Hello there, today's video is on CSS. So uh, I've got a page already built. There it is right there, it's got several paragraphs in it. And uh, I want you to notice the several paragraphs that I have in here because as you can tell by the numbering scheme, this is sublime, gives me numbers. Uh, it goes from nine to 10. That means this entire paragraph is on one line as far as sublime is concerned. Um, the, the text editor wraps it around the page so I can actually read it all while I'm working on it. But it's one line uh, because it gets one number. That's the, uh, that's the way I made it. Uh, even though the browser window shows it on several lines, that's because it's wrapping the text around. And uh, that's what today's video is about, is about uh, formatting of text. So let's go and look at it. It's, uh, we're gonna do it on the paragraph. And the tag is, or sorry, the property is white space. Um, I'm not crazy about the name, but I kind of know where it comes from. Uh, so white space has the option to do normal and we'll do a semicolon, save that, and refresh. That looks normal, right? But the idea is, let's say I put, I've got a couple extra lines in there, but the um, HTML, when it's rendered, doesn't care how much white space is in there. By default, you know, I could put all kinds of, you know, blank spaces in there. It doesn't really care. It just puts them all together. So that's the normal setting for, uh, oops, for uh, HTML to, uh, to just strip out all the white space and only pay attention to line breaks, things like that. Uh, so the next part is to, uh, to do inherit which means it'll inherit from whatever its parent item's doing. Uh, I don't have anything set on the div that contains these paragraphs, so it'll just be the same thing as normal. Uh, the only reason why you use the normal is because if your paragraph's doing something weird and you don't want it to, you can reset back to defaults. All right, so the next thing is no wrap. Now, remember how I said that the paragraph was on one line in the text editor? That's what no wrap means. It means don't wrap it around, just put it back on one line, just like I typed it. So it is not wrapping in the browser window. There's uh, also the option to do uh, pre, which is, uh, oops, pre, which makes it work just like the pre tag in uh, HTML. So uh, this one's on one line, but let's go ahead and put it on multiple lines. So here we go, save that. I've got two blank lines stuck in here, and that's what, uh, that's what's going on there because I have these two blank lines. I can uh, tab it out actually. Let's do that. Let's tab it out like that and there'll be a bunch of blank space in front of it like that as you can see. And it's just like the pre-tag in HTML uh, except this is a CSS property. There's also pre-line which uh, it respects my enters so it, it uh, my returns, it put a return here and put a return there. So there's that blank line just because there's a return there, but it ignores all of this blank space that I put in front of it. And that's what pre-line does. It, res it respects my line breaks, but uh, strips out all the unneeded white space, which white space would wind up being all of these blanks. And then there's pre-wrap which will uh, put the white space back in and wrap the text around the, uh, the browser window. So it's not you know, long like it was before. Uh, so there you go. Let's put it back to normal so you can see what normal actually does. Because it doesn't matter how much white space is in there, the browser window will strip it out and it will also strip out this extra line as well. So there's normal. And all of this works a lot like the, uh, the pre-tag in uh, HTML. So uh, there you go, there's the white space property in CSS. And uh, hopefully you'll get to play with this. And thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?